Chinese Nobel Prize winner Mo Yan and his literary works were exalted as thoughtful and critical of the reality of China. Saturday in Lima at the 20th International Book Fair. Lo llamo también un escritor de raza porque es un hombre que respira literatura. No le cuesta esfuerzo ni trabajo eh, escribir una leyenda, formar de la nada una novela. No tiene una capacidad increíble. Eh, para hacer de una pequeña idea un gran libro y una obra fundamental. At the panel entitled The Current Chinese Society and the Works of Mo Yan, the observers compared the Chinese author to Garcia Marquez, the Colombian writer who created the literary style of magical realism, which has become one of the cultural pillars of Latin America. Furthermore, Mo Yan has gone on to develop a style that has been characterized as hallucinatory realism, which merges folk tales, history, and contemporary materials, the observer said. Mejor lección, y creo que no solo los libros, sino la, la propia, el propio derrotero de Mo Yan, es que uno tiene que ser fiel a sus ideas, por encima de las críticas y por encima de los alagios y los elogios, uno tiene que ser auténtico, y Mo Yan lo ha sido, un niño pobre, sin posibilidad de futuro, eh, expulsado de la escuela, busca la forma de llegar a la universidad y desde ahí encaramarse a la fama, al éxito. Mo Yan became widely known in Peru, especially after he accompanied Chinese Premier Li Keqiang to the South American country in May during an official visit. In 2012, the then 57-year-old novelist became the first Chinese writer winning the Nobel Prize for his loyal and detailed description of the lives in northern villages of China.